Hello, Chris Roma here, aka Roma Aquatics, giving you uh, my special little thing that I kind of invented for um, Cardinia shrimp and using buffered substrate with a matten filter. So here we go. So right here, as you can see, I have some of the plastic mesh that you get from a hobby store for like yarn crafts. And basically that's just like a mesh, plastic mesh box that bacteria can build up on. Uh, but also when you use your, you basically put your aqua soil in here or whatever. So you could fill this with your aqua soil or your gravel. And basically it turns the matten filter into almost like an under gravel filter as well. So you get the, this filter bacteria the bacteria building in there you also get bacteria building in your aqua soil no matter where you put it but if you put it here it's getting a lot more flow through the um, substrate because the water is getting pulled through it and I got this idea uh, from watching one of Lup Diesel's he has his if you look at his video he has all of his buffered substrate in he has all of his buffered substrate in Tupperware containers, so it's easy to change because you have to change it whenever it's losing it loses its buffering capacity. So basically, um, if you have it in the tank, you have to basically tear down your whole tank every year, or two years. Uh, but if you have two of these in here, if you put one of these on each one, basically after a year you could take one out and put another one in. And now you're set on every year cycle, you just alternate switching your buffered substrates. You never have to tear your tank down and you can uh, keep your buffering capacity real easy because all you got to do is pull this out, dump the substrate, put more substrate in, put it back in. So to me, it's just a no brainer and awesome. I'm going to show you guys how to make that. I'm sure you could buy something like that, but I figure it's easy to make it. These sheets. I got this at 89 for 89 cents at my local craft store and uh, I'm sure you could get it way cheaper if you got it on like Amazon or something um, but that's all you need is that and I'm going to show you this and some zip ties and some scissors and I'm going to show you exactly what to do so here we go all right hope you guys are ready to get your origami on this is all about folding and cutting all right you're going to need zip ties measuring device uh, whatever this is called plastic mesh okay so this one's already a little bit folded up but this is the last one I have laying around to show you guys but I'm gonna do that so what we're gonna want to do to start here is we want to take our measurements and what we want to do first is we want to measure four inches and my plan, just so you know, the plan for this video, guys, is to just do these folds and the first couple zip ties in real time, and then I'll time lapse it for you guys. And it might be a little tedious. Oh, sorry, I was talking about other stuff. So what I just did there was I measured four inches over here, and then I stuck the zip tie in the hole right above the four inch mark. So it's just sticking out in the four inch mark there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fold this end to meet that guy. And I'm just going to fold that down. And this material is a little hard to fold, but it's also really easy to work with because the holes, you could line them up and it makes it real easy to get a nice straight perfect fold. So there's a nice fold. And um, on to the next one. So basically what we're going to want to do here and now is bring this end over to there and make a fold there. So we're going to bring that, line it up with that end. We're going to make sure it kind of stays and we're going to push that fold down on that side. And this might get a little tedious, like I said, but uh, the time lapse should be better. And uh, I know it's a little quiet during the time lapse. I do that on purpose, um, so you don't have to listen to any music that you don't like. I hate when I'm trying to listen or learn something from a video, and then all of a sudden there's this horrible music that I don't really care for, and it totally distracts me. So that's why it's quiet. 
Um, but I've been thinking of doing voiceovers during the time lapse to kind of explain what I'm doing. If you guys like that idea, let me know in the comments. I could do that as well. Um, but on to the next one. So now this lines up nice. You can see that. So open that fold up. Fold this one back over. Fold it. Oh, that might get in your way. I'll do it this way. Fold that over. And then fold this again. So now you have those three nice folds there. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to fold two inches up from here. But what we could also do is take this and that the second fold we made here, just kind of flatten that out along that fold again. Make sure you line it up with your holes if you're going to press down on that. And uh, while that's down, fold this end over and line it up. Just line it up with that end and push down. All right. So now we have this fold, this fold, this fold, and this fold, which is nice. Only one more is left. We want a two inch fold from the bottom here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure up our four inches. I really wish America was on the metric system. Anyone else? Leave yeah, that in the comments too. That'd be great. But now I'm just folding this up so we get a nice fold at the two inch mark. Pushing that down. So we got that fold. And that is beautiful. So what we're going to want to do here is now we're at the cutting stage. We're going to want to cut on this fold and this fold I'm sure of at the moment. We're going to work on those folds after. Um, but we want to cut from down here all the way up to where um, we just folded it here. So what I like to do is fold it over and then kind of put a zip tie right on the intersection where this fold and this fold meet. That was one dot over, but right there. And then I'll make sure I'm cutting in a straight line and right up to the exact spot where I should be. So just cut right up to that zip tie and you should be good to go. And you got that cut. And do the same thing for this fold. You want it right on that intersection. Or I guess one above the intersection so you can cut up to it. something like that so the idea here is this folds up like that this folds in like that this folds up like that this will fold over so we need to cut there and also cut there so I guess all the folds along the bottom all four folds you want to cut This doesn't have to be, I can't remember if I said this or not, but this doesn't have to be this perfect and intricate, like right down to the right square. I'm just trying to get it perfect because this one's on video with hopefully lots of people watching is the goal. So, but hey, as long as people learn or take some bit of knowledge from this or whatever you can, that's great. Uh, make sure that's right. Stop second guessing yourself. Okay, so now we have that. So now we're at the zip tie phase, almost to time lapse. So we're gonna fold this up, this up. What I'm gonna do, and then this up, and this up. 
as you can see, look at that. I was a few cubes off, whatever, no one's perfect. But I'm gonna put a zip tie, try to squeeze it patiently through this layer, this layer, this, all these layers. So it pinches this corner right here. And it'll hold it all together. So that's my goal right now. So let's start one layer at a time. And by putting these zip ties through, I try to stay not the outer hole, but kind of like two holes in. So in case one of the holes rips, it's not gonna come loose. Um, but bear with me here. And this is the part that's gonna be real slow at first, which is why exactly why I plan on time-lapsing. Two layers down. That through the one I want. Come on. Keep bending on me. Maybe if I got more to work with. Oh, now I ripped that one out. Start from scratch, be patient, trying to rush. If you get bored, you could always move that slider, I guess. There we go, pull some through, give me something to work with. And I can actually bend, eyeball the hole I'm shooting for, and unfolding, put it through. It's kind of like threading a needle through five sheets of fabric. And I think this is the last one, just out and around. I like to try to keep the thick part of the zip tie on the off the bottom. But I guess it's just preference, it doesn't matter. Alright, so as you can see that's holding nice. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up the side here and just put a couple, maybe one here and one at the top ish to kind of just hold the fold. Make it easier to work with. So I'd say about a th every third, we go a third of the way up from the top and a third of the way down. And actually, see you guys, I'm only going to do one time lapse the rest, but you see how that's holding that fold there nice now? So what I'm going to do on this side is the same thing I did on that side. I'm going to fold these in, down and around. And then I think after this one, I'm going to time lapse it for you guys. Go in. Through those two layers. Ah, see, I'm getting the hang of it now. That went through there nice. And then if we want to target the second hole in over here. We're moving now. Nice. Okay. So now what I'm going to do 
is I guess I'll do this one slow too because this is a kind of a complex one because we're going to connect these two pieces these two here and this bottom piece and that piece basically any piece that's in the local vicinity here and I always like to come in from the outside first um, just to keep the knots on the outside of the box because I used to try to make it where I kept the knots on the inside of the box and I think for some reason it was real tough. So actually I think I'm gonna use two zip ties to do that job. This one I'm not I'm gonna leave this part out and just do the solidify that part. What's one more zip tie in the mix? Perfect. Okay, so you guys see how it's coming. You can already see it taking shape. I'm going to go to time lapse mode now. So there's the finished product after both of them are in there. I'd say it fits pretty good. So basically, again, the whole idea here is the water is going to get forced through the foam, through your substrate, up the tube, and back through here. And it'll keep circulating, and that way you're getting both of those layers, and it's easy to change out. And that's what it looks like above. So, all right, have a good day, till next time.